Today we're going to talk about a topic that's close to my heart, the beauty of imperfection in photography. We often feel the pressure to make every photo perfect, but I want to remind you that photography is, at its core, about documenting life. Photography is a personal journey, spanning the course of your whole life if that's how long you take photos for. But it's definitely not a destination and you'll never fully perfect its wide range of storytelling. It's about growth, self-expression, and capturing moments that matter. With social media on every corner, you tend to see great photos left and right, and it's easy to get caught up in great photos that many photographers post, but photography at its core has range. It's complex. Sometimes the most mundane and simple captures can express feelings deep inside someone, but at the same time, the most extreme, busy, and chaotic photos can make someone feel like a roller coaster. The subjectivity and relationship to the viewer can create emotions without saying anything. And that's why it's important to take the pressure off from our shoulders that we have to capture our best image every time we go out and shoot. You should think of photography as the capture of life or the lens to your soul. And instead of the quest for perfection, you should overshadow that with joy of memories that you've captured. When you do go out and shoot some photos, planning your shots and executing them is pretty rewarding considering the vision you saw and brought to life. But there is something special about shots that I've took that happened when I least expected it. And I can tell when a photo feels candid because there's a different sense of emotions that spark from a photo versus a planned and staged photo. Recently I had a pumpkin patch photo shoot for a father and his son and of course we went through the stage setup and got some of my favorite photos but as we were walking to the next area I noticed the father was being playful with the son throwing him in the air so I decided to capture that moment without them knowing and these ended up being some of my favorite shots from that. I know there's a special feeling for photos like that because there's a moment in time that was authentic and memorable so next time you're out shooting whether it's for a client or with your friends, look at everything in the scope of a camera and you'll notice that there's a lot of moments worth capturing. Plus, it sets you apart from other photographers that don't see the candidness as part of moments to capture. As you go through your photography journey, every error is a chance to refine your craft, to improve and adjust for the next time you shoot. You don't know how many times I've overexposed a shot and wasn't able to retrieve data in those highlights. I've maybe missed focus about a thousand times and even the lack of framing composition has a lot of opportunities to grow for me. And that's why it's important to have an open mind and although photography is subjective to the shooter there is no right way and you should not be closed off to new ways of learning i can understand how someone that puts in a ton of hours into learning a craft whether it's photography or becoming a doctor can get a big ego they start feeling that because they learned the skill so you shouldn't be able to tell them anything but that just makes other people not want to work with you or hang out with you so don't be that high and mighty person Remember that humans are flawed and as long as we are constantly working to be better people, you'll always be happy with life and that goes with photography as well. Don't get discouraged when your photos aren't in focused, uncentered or too dark because at the end of the day, you went out and took those photos. You had the ability to see something wrong with them so you should have the ability to study and learn how you can take better photos. As you continue to learn through your mistakes, one thing that can get you through photos you aren't happy with is to embrace the imperfections. Remember that this can add character to your photos and where you might see an ugly mess, someone sees a wonderful someone sees a wonderful story. As a photographer, we can be the hardest critics to ourselves and you can point out things that the normal eye won't pay attention to. In the past, I've had notes from photos I've took that I wish I did a bit differently. And at times people have pointed out that that's why they love the photos. So don't beat yourself up through the process and embrace the imperfection. Now I've been guilty of criticizing others photos before. And when the thought crosses my head, I always remember I love the photos that I shoot. So I'm sure the person loves the photos they shoot. And photography is a form of self-expression. And just how I feel I would have shot or edited a photo differently, people might feel the same about my photos and that should be okay. 
At the end of the day, the story can trump colors and sharpness. So remember it's subjective to the person. When you're first starting photography, you wanna take so many photos all the time. And if it's a client, you want to deliver as many photos as possible because you just want them to love the photos. But as you go through different stages of taking shots, you realize you can have a better impact by having intent with your photos or having quality over quantity. But I actually think you should have a nice balance of quality and quantity. Whereas people usually say quality over quantity, it's all depending on the situation and types of deliverables you're giving to your client. Remember that every photo, regardless of quality, contributes to your personal photogenic narrative. So to summarize everything, photography is a journey. You should embrace the unplanned. Learn from your mistakes. Imperfections tell a story. Photography for yourself. And lastly, quality and quantity, not quality over quantity. Remember, don't succumb to the pressure of perfection. We aren't perfect as individuals, so how could you capture the perfect photo all the time? Now, I do appreciate you staying to the very end. If you found this video inspiring, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Find your perspective, frame your world and inspire others. Thank you.